Hi, I'm Peter. And I'm Amy. The Let Property campaign has been up and running by HMRC for many years and we regularly see clients get into the tax system by using it. We're going to be running through a number of blogs and Q&As over the next few weeks showing you the most common questions we get from clients. What is a Let Property campaign? A let property campaign is used if you own residential property in the UK that you've rented out and you haven't declared the income to HMRC. This can go back for the prior year or up to 20 years, depending on if HMRC look that far. This can be used if it was accidentally not declared or deliberate. It's an easy way to get into the tax system if you've forgotten to declare your property income. Will I get away with not declaring my income? It's highly unlikely that over the long period you'll get away with not declaring your income. HMRC have got lots of easy ways to find you. They have a spider that collates land registry with your self-assessment and council tax records. And where they see a council tax bill in, say, your tenant's name, the land registry in you, the owner's name, and you not declaring on your self-assessment, they send you a letter. And that letter says you might have forgotten to declare your rental income. At that point, if they've caught you that way, uh, you're looking at larger penalties than if you uh, simply use a let property campaign to declare your income to HMRC before they find you. So yes, they will generally catch you if you've forgotten to declare your income. It's also worth noting that we've had clients say to us before, because they've used a letting agent, they didn't think they had to declare the income to HMRC. The letting agent is purely managing the property, not the taxes around the property. And a letting agent could be a way that HMRC find out that you have been renting out your property. I think if you're not sure simply book a discovery call with us and we'll explain the rules to you. What if I don't have my records? If you don't have your records and you are looking to get into the let property campaign to get to declaring your income to HMRC, there are various ways that we can get to those records. It may well be that we can get hold of old bank statements. It may be that you've got details of assured tenancies either through letting agents or other means, or ultimately you may remember how much rent you were getting every month. Now we could use those figures to declare the income. Similarly, it's often possible to go back and get interest from mortgage lenders. It's possible to get records of service charges from your from your managing company if you're in a block of flats and you're renting out a property in there. So generally we can get to the records, albeit sometimes we have to estimate some of them, but um, it's definitely worthwhile estimating them, being sensible about those estimates and getting them into HMRC rather than just thinking you can't work out how to do it. What happens if I declare my income on LPC and later find out I have additional income? So when you're declaring your income through the Let Property campaign, you're essentially declaring that this is all of your income. So you're signing that declaration to say that you haven't earned any other income. If later on down the line there is additional income, HMRC are going to be a lot harsher with their penalties, probably minimum 100%. So really when you're signing the Let Property campaign, you're going to sign it truthfully, you're going to own up to your tax liabilities and we're going to help you manage payment of those liabilities over time. Can you as an agent deal with the disclosure itself or do you just need to do the calculation? Um, so initially we would have a call with you to get the information to do the calculation and to see whether there's any estimates that we need to put in place but we can request agent authorization which allows us to log on to their portal and complete the disclosure on your behalf we will of course um, get your approval on it first so generally you're never you're not going to be speaking to hmrc as all this happens you're going to be speaking to us we're going to be calculating things for you we're going to be submitting them for you uh, in the majority of cases you will never ever have to speak to HMRC. It'll all get dealt with in the background by us. Very occasionally, in certain circumstances, especially if HMRC don't believe everything we've told them, or you've told us that we've told them, then they may well decide to want to speak to you. But that's really one in 10 cases. In most cases, the Let Property campaign, if you're truthful and we're truthful with to HMRC, will run on with no further contact between you and HMRC. 
Can I negotiate the penalties and interest? The penalty regime under the Let Property campaign is set by legislation. There are criteria to be met, prompted versus unprompted. If HMRC have come to you, tell you you've forgotten about your rental income, then you're going to be paying a higher penalty than if you go to HMRC and volunteer the information. There are There's a difference between being careless about your tax returns and deliberately concealing that rental income, and that will have a difference on the penalty. The amount of time that you've been getting it wrong, that will have a difference on the penalty, and ultimately your cooperation with HMRC when you declare this forgotten income, how cooperative you'll be, will also have a difference on the penalty. So those penalties can run between zero and 100% of the tax, or even 200% of the tax, if you've got an offshore involvement in this property. You've got to also remember that interest will run on the outstanding tax, as well as the penalties. And when you're calculating the penalty, as Peter said, you'll knock off a percentage depending on the criteria mentioned. That's capped at 10% if your let property campaign is longer than five years. Do I have to pay the liability straight away? Ideally, the tax would be paid along with the penalty and interest straight away, as obviously this is undeclared from prior years. However, if it is a large amount, HMRC would be willing to set up a payment payment plan for you. So often what we're doing as part of the Let Property campaign is we're working out what the tax liability is, working out what the penalties and interest are, and maybe working with you to arrange a remortgage of your buy-to-let so that you've got the money to pay HMRC. If that doesn't work, then we're working with you to come up with a payment plan with HMRC to get the liabilities settled. But ultimately, you will have to pay those liabilities. If you have any questions regarding the Let Property campaign that we've discussed today or about buy-to-let in general, please feel free to get in contact and you can book in a free discovery call using the link below. Um, Alternatively, if you have any topics that you'd like us to discuss, please feel free to get in contact.